All right. We had a contest last week, folks. Well, maybe not a contest, a homework assignment for uh, it, because we need a term for that maneuver that we've all done when you take a cable from underneath your desk and you are underneath your desk and you want to hang that cable gingerly on the back of the desk so that you can then climb around quickly but carefully and grab that cable before it falls back down. And so we had many, many contributions here. Jose I, I will lead us off. He says a possible, possible phrase for the cable dangle. How about the over-under used in a sentence? I had to do the over-under to plug in my charger behind my desk. Used in a sentence, man, that is super efficient. I, I could I could see myself using that. Obviously, there's there's you know, uh, uh, like like betting terminology that also uses the over under, and so maybe this doesn't stick, but I like it. It's 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 not a bad contribution, and I could see myself using that. That's good. Karen wrote in and says uh, it's desk and dangling, so maybe it's descaling, descaling the cable. Okay, all right. I, yep. I like these are terms of efficiency. That's how that's how language evolves. That's how language evolves. Uh, listener Michael, with his butt dial, comes back. Hey, John, Dave, this is Michael in Long Beach. Uh, most recent episode talking about that maneuver with the cable under the desk, just enough to grab it. I would call that the dangler. Dangler. All right. Yeah, I did a dangler and it fell. Oh, well, better luck next time. Love the show. I had a dangler and it fell. Better luck next time. I had a dangler and it fell. I mean, like that's the show title. Whether or not that term sticks around for us, John, I don't know. But uh, but for sure, that's uh, that's a good one. Thank you, Michael. Bjorn wrote in and uh, says, you complained about this lack of a standardized term. As soon as I heard your request for an easier way to explain this, it came to me. You are not table cable able. Put that into circulation, and it should soon be obvious to all and sundry what you are talking about. Table cable able. All right. Okay. But that has to be more. That's not the maneuver. That's more about the the person. Like, oh, I did it. I was table cable able. You know, I like it. All right. Sure. Fun. Uh, last one for today. Keep these coming in. Last one for today is almost a cool stuff found. In fact, it is a cool stuff found. He says, uh, listener Scott writes in, he says, you wanted a word for the hanging cable. I was thinking along the line that it is a dance between you and the cable. That's fair. Says, so I looked at wordcombiner.com. John, I've never heard of wordcombiner.com. And he says, uh, I told it to find possible words for dance and cable. And the one that came up that Scott personally liked was dancel, D A N C L E, a dancel. You got a dancel. So it's like a dangler, but a dancler or a dancel. All right. Sure. I like it. I like it. And also, I like word combiner. I could see many hours being, um, I don't know if wasted is the right term, but I think it might be the right term. <laughs> so. I just use duct tape. Is that seriously how you do this? You put some duct tape on the back uh, of your desk so that you can you can stick it there and then pull it up? Mm -hmm. Huh. I have done that. That's smart. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't duct tape work? Duct tape solves everything. All right, MacGyver Braun. I like it. <laughs> 